You're watching Fox 9 News. Selling alcohol at liquor stores on Sundays has been anything but an easy sell here in Minnesota. But the fight is far from over, and now some feel that Sunday liquor sales is getting closer to becoming a reality. Fox 9's Jack Heiberger has more on the latest effort. It's a Sunday song that starts with a question. Say that again? A smile. Yeah, I know. I know. And it lasts an ice cold beer. We don't have to be open on Sundays. We just choose to be. At LTD Brewing in Hopkins, the beer is bound only by the bartender. But across the street at the local liquor store, the closest you'll come to a beer on a Sunday is a sign on the wall. It's troubling that clearly the public wants it and there's there's legislators that aren't listening to the people that put them in office. Support for striking down the decades old state law preventing Sunday liquor sales is growing, but standing in the way of change is history and even the liquor stores themselves. Even the people who are against it are realizing sooner or later this is going to happen. State and Senator David Osmek is among the lawmakers who support Sunday sales. But critics will argue there's no incentive for liquor stores, citing a seventh day of sales as another expense with no extra revenue. You know, uh, it actually benefits us right now, but as a consumer, I'm not too happy about it. So LTD part owner Blake Verdon will tell you the ban helps fuel his Sunday growler sales, which brings us to his newest, most idealistic beer. It's citrusy, but has kind of that classic bite to it as well. The Sunday sales pale ale is a beer drinker's protest. All profits going towards efforts to strike down the ban. All you can do is, is try and get the word out. And, and with every time, glass, a simple uh, hope that one day soon, bourbon can join the beer. Hopefully it will change in our lifetime. Hopefully it will change this year. And the chances of it changing this year are a bit of a long shot. Lawmakers will tell you that uh, it will likely fall short again. But looking ahead to 2017, that's a year where they hope they can really make a difference. Back to you. All right, Jack.